Good morning, my wonderful friends. Megas here on another beautiful day in Asha. And uh, I was thinking, you know, I don't really have a set uh, direction I want to go today. So I thought we'd just pull a card, read from Asha, and just see where the message goes. Uh, the Six of Cups. We've pulled this before. There's so much we can talk about in this card, but do you know what's coming out to me right now? It's just the six means perseverance, overcoming obstacles, and that's what I'm feeling right now. And I don't know, you know, we have Mercury retrograde right now. I don't really believe that it affects uh, all the things people say they do, like technology, but I'll tell you right now, my phone is down, my Wi-Fi is messed up, my TV's messed up, you know, and then I gotta run clear to town to get my phone fixed, which is far from where I live out here. Just so many things, you know, that I don't wanna add on, and uh, it makes you wonder about that Mercury retrograde sometimes. Uh, but it makes me think of the sixes here, to persevere, overcome obstacles. It's something I found after living on this world for so long, uh, things always work out. Sometimes it, it's frustrating, I don't understand why I'm going through it, but I always look back and think, oh, I can see now why that happened. And even though sometimes it uh, doesn't seem like a good thing at the time, it ends up working in my advantage. Uh, it, it's a funny thing how <laughs> that works out like that. So that's actually a perfect card for where we're at right now. My friends, this too shall pass and you'll look back one day and you'll understand why these things and these annoyances happen. And you know, I'm just feeling, I wanna read Asha 16. It's so funny. We never give any attention to Asha 16. It's always my favorite, Asha 12, Asha 13, but it's just uh, Asha 16 has been on my heart so much this last week. Listen to this. It says, when man sins or thinks err, it is against his nature, for he comes from good spirit and will return to the good spirit. God put the good mind, divine spark in all his creatures, so it has a guide at all times. That's just been on my mind lately. It's that guide. Instinctively, we know right and wrong, good and bad. Uh, but in this mixed world, sometimes we we have a hard time getting to that highest good. You know, I, I think about maybe with relationships, what would be the perfect relationship? You're young, you meet your twin flame, your soulmate, you come together, uh, you have a family, you're together through this life and it's beautiful. How many of us actually get that, you know? And so sometimes we get the next best thing and it's not the highest good and there's that rub inside of us. And we gotta make sure, don't let yourself get into guilt and shame and, uh, you know, that's not what it's about. Uh, it makes me think, do you remember that story? It still pulls to the mind. I talked about the woman uh, walking to work and she keeps getting harassed and attacked and, and then they try to rape her, right? And she goes crazy, she gets violent and she fights back and she's celebrated for her violence. You know, she's a strong woman now. And we can see that and we think, well, that's good, isn't it? You know, I'll tell you what it is. It's not good, it's not God, it's not Asha, but it's better than. And sometimes that's all we can get in this mixed world. Uh, it, you know, violence feels better than being a hopeless victim. So, I mean, if someone breaks into your home or is attacking you or your children, I mean, you go to the violence, you know? We'd love to go straight to Asha, wouldn't we? We'd love to go to the highest good that we instinctively know. But in this world, it's not always an option. And if you're someone like me, that rubs me the wrong way because I know the difference from right and wrong. Uh, you know, a lot of the world religions we've talked about, their gods can love and hate. They can be at peace and war. So it's easy to take on a, a religion like that because uh, it makes you feel a little better <laughs> about yourself. Uh, but do you know what? You can feel good about yourself and be a Zoroastrian. Just remember, you came to time space, this mixed world, on purpose. You knew you were gonna to have to deal with some things. You knew you were gonna be in contact with some of these lower vibrations. You weren't gonna always be able to reach the highest good, but your true self, source, you are one with God, is perfect, is pure, lives in Asha every time. You're kind of an adventurer, an explorer down here, and we're raising the evolution of Gaia. And so don't get into guilt. Don't get into shame. Don't get discouraged. Don't get dismayed. 
Number six, right? We're going to overcome, we're going to persevere, and we will see Asha eventually realize, my friends. So just keep reaching for the highest good you can, and, and don't beat yourself up, my friends, all right? You guys know this. I love you so much. Go to the comments. Let me know. Sometimes I wonder, you know, with a message like this, did I help anyone? Did this make any sense at all? Let me know. Hit the th thumbs up. Tell me you love me because you know I love you. We'll see you next time.